Hey, Tim and Joel. Now, you're not into Joel Creasy and Kate Ritchie lies about having a Southern Cross tattoo on her back. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you change your tattoo? Because mm. the most famous one, I think, is is it Nick Cannon? Oh, yes. yes. Did he have... Oh, oh, did he have Mariah? Back. I think he had Mariah and, and then he turned it into something? a butterfly. Is that right? Oh. No, oh, but turning a tattoo into a butterfly would be all about Mariah, wouldn't it? I know that's almost a little bit too Mariah. What didn't, was it then? She what had an album. Yeah, wasn't Ben? Didn't Ben Affleck change one, or was that the no, Rising he's got Phoenix? He's or got something? a big dragon or phoenix on his, his entire back, and one of my pet hates coloured tattoos. Oh yeah, not into coloured tattoos. Now, who well, is? Some mm. some are okay. Oh, when you get a yellow oh, on skin, you're yeah. like. Meh. Actually, my girlfriend has a has a few coloured tattoos, and they look great on her. I think it depends on the on the canvas as well. Yeah, good call. Because you've got a fair few tats. You're quite in. I've actually booked in for my next session. You are. You've got a few more on the go. Yeah. You did say I could give you one. You can you give me oh, whatever you want. I cannot you wait. You didn't mean tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, actually, you're going to be in town for. Uh, are you in town on the first of November? I know uh, we're doing our diary on air, but possibly, um, maybe. Well, that's when I'm going. To that's when you're booked. Oh, okay. So he can, um, you can, he can pass you his uh, little. Oh, oh my god! Wait, I can actually do it. Yeah, why not? I thought you meant I can draw it. I can actually give you the. Okay. Oh no! Actually, no, no. Actually, no. Don't don't actually give it to no, me. You draw no, it. I'm no, I'm free. Draw it. I've just cleared my diary. Draw it. No, I can't wait. What's the seventh? I don't know. Oh, that's when that's when I get to. Um, so oh, Gemma, no, Gemma are up to date with Joel's stuff. Oh, well, yeah. sorry. You're in town um, seventh. Yeah. My apologies. That I thought like, is it his seventh tattoo? To be around, for whatever, any paps want to be around Sydney Airport. Yeah, how oh, embarrassing please. when the paps aren't there. Oh, I know. The now. No. They, <laughs> it's, uh, the only time they ever get me as well is when they're there for someone else and they reluctantly take a photo of me to make me feel like, good. Oh. They don't go anywhere. Um, but did anyways, you change your tattoo? That on 2014. Yes, because Giselle Bunchen. Yeah. And Tom Brady, you know, what of Hollywood's, you know, golden couples. They've obviously broken up in the last few weeks. And Giselle was spotted visiting a legal building in Miami, uh, updating her tattoo on her ankle. Her right ankle. Getting a Miami dolphin. What, she I went know. to the a legal legal building. No, just a legal building. Oh. I'm not sure which one. Okay. <laughs> um so she had an ankle tattoo oh. of a crescent moon surrounded by three stars. Um, but I she's... get mine done at legal buildings. Illegal. Yeah, I like it. Illegal. I yeah. didn't, and now it all makes sense. I'm so sorry. I obviously wasn't listening. She was going to a legal building, but she a wasn't going space there legal building. to get the tattoo changed. Yeah. No, I think this is where she no. was papped. Yeah. So she was maybe no, I going. Get, I don't get my tattoos at Blamey Saunders. No, I know. <laughs> Uh, like, I'm sorry. No, but she perhaps she was going to the legal building what, to file some sort of divorce. She can wear what she wants. She's just our Bunchen, mate. Yeah. Well, okay. They look like a pair of Havianas. Um, she can wear whatever she wants. I know. The Bunch. The big Is, GB. What are you calling that tattoo? Well, it was a crescent moon surrounded by three stars, mm. but she's turned it into a tree with several branches curling upward around the stars. I guess that's showing growth. Yeah. But know. when did when was this changed? Have they just taken the photo of the branches now and they're saying that she's had that done recently when in actual fact that tattoo was changed five years ago? Mm, but why? Why would you have changed it five years I mean, ago? I mean, you've really... Great point. Knock the, knock the air out of the story. I know. And I can't really manoeuvre around that, no. so... <laughs> I don't okay. have the answer. Just no, well, ignore me then, and let's pretend she did it oh, last okay. week. Oh, okay. Here we go. I have some. I have yeah. a little bit more oh, info okay. for you, Kate. Sure. Yep. Um, the the original tattoo predates her relationship with Tom Brady, mm. which doesn't clear anything up. No. Um, but she was also seen last week. Let me see if I can distract you with this bit of information. Mm. Okay, she was seen last week spiritually cleansing her car, which is done to get rid of any negative energy. Okay, so she's into that woo woo stuff. I need to spiritually cleanse my car. With sage or something? No, well, just with a bit of spray and wine. But sage would be nice. Why would? Why do, What have you been doing in the car? You've been eating in the car. It. Oh, I always eat in the car. I'm very busy in that car in the five minutes from my house to this place. I saw a magpie poo yesterday at the pool. It was so embarrassing because it like just a little bit of white stuff just dripped out of it. You're too majestic and big for that. Well, so they talk a, a big like game, a, magpies. Yeah, they yeah. talk a big game. They're very oh, aggressive. They really do. Like, and then yeah, a bit they of little. Are. Yeah. A little like, oh. Oh, come Thought on, it was mate. Louis C.K., but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Giselle is reportedly done with Tom and doesn't believe. What's happened? Do we know what's happened? No. 13 year marriage can be repaired. Well, maybe if she's saying that, maybe something went on. Maybe but it's something a bit untoward. Years in showbiz, as we discussed last week, is like 150,000 years. So I know. They did a pretty good job. Hey, Tom, you got a tattoo change? 
changed? Oh, uh, yeah, I did, actually. Mm, yeah, what is it? Uh, so I was dating a girl named Anna. Mm. Yeah. And when we broke up, I met her, Annabelle. Now that I'm married, I changed the name to Annabelle. Oh, that's that's convenient. Were you were you looking for someone whose name started with A double N A, or was it just by oh, chance? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sounds like you're making that. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I went with it. I wouldn't Why be not? happy with that. You need to scrub that whole thing off. Get a skin graft, even. <laughs> really? Well, do you want to be hard? Do you want to know that the beginning of your name is actually the other girl's name? No. Go to a legal building and have it done. Yeah, <laughs> shine lawyers. Do a good job. <laughs> Angel Nova. It's Cat Demon, your male back share. Let's sit down and just be by their side. Listen clear to the male backs we all like. Don't forget to send KTJ your KTJ at novafm.com.au, the place to go. You can text us anytime as well. We have a great couple of texts in uh, the Arsenal 04800 KTJ. Text us. We'll get to Chappell Corby in a second. Let's rip through these. Um, apparently, the, this is crazy. I said this the other day on the show. What my mate said to me was interesting. He goes, it's amazing if like, you you weed in the pool and I was in the pool with you. Oh, that ruined the moment. I'd go, oh, mate, that's weird. But if you stood outside the pool and weed into the pool while I was in it, we'd never speak to each other again. <laughs> You're doing the same thing. Isn't that funny, right? It's mm. hilarious. Oh, my God. It was a good story of yours, right. original. Yes. Yeah, yeah, from a friend. Well, then Kate mm. messages, not you, Kate, says... Is this your mate, Tim? And this is from the Super Nice Advice podcast, is it, I guess? That's what that's what their Instagram handle is. Have mm. a listen to this. If you're in a pool with a bunch of the lads getting on the beers... Oh, no. ...and we'll just say Trevor, Trevor pisses in the pool, mm. normal reaction would be, oh, come on, Trevor, that's gross, get out the pool next time. But if Trevor decided to get out of the pool and then piss into it, <laughs> he'd never talk to the bloke again. But I cut off. <laughs> Same outcome. Isn't that funny? Oh. It's hilarious. When did you tell your story though? And when did when did these guys do the podcast? Like, is, is this Kate trying to suggest that maybe you stole the story from the podcast? Yeah. Well, do I you don't think know. you're friends with the super nice? I've nice never people? I've never heard of this podcast before or seen it, but they seem lovely. And a friend of mine may have seen this podcast and told me about it. Oh but yeah. My story about my friend telling me that is completely true. Oh. So it's actually where he got it from. And that's just stories in general, isn't it? People get them from all different places and then they tell them. That's been the whole history of the world. I know, I know. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> all this AJT rubbish. I'm, I'm carrying on with On Again Tonight at 7.30 on 7. And I pre-ordered the book, of course, on oh, Kate's bio, but you continue to do that to me. Um... Now, you've got well, Halloween's coming up. It's on a Monday this year, is which this is a bit... Me? Boo. But this is great. Yeah, this is you, Kate Ritchie. Oh, here we go. Facebook message from Anne-Marie. Here's an idea for Kate and Joel yes. when they do Halloween carving, because, of course, you tend to be the Halloween carver, uh, the pumpkin carving king, well, Tim. Well, I do have a signature carb, I guess, don't yeah, I? Yeah, you do. Like a, like a, yeah, like a sign-off. It's a, call, yeah. a, call, a calling card. Is yeah, that what you like, would call oh, that? that? That's definitely mine. Yeah. So can, much... you do it for, can you do it for a third week year yes, in a row? Yes, I can. Yes, okay. I can. Right. Okay. Well, it's, it's Is it going to be better than last year? It's year's? such a hit that Aaron, I think, took it to a Halloween party. That's, where, <laughs> that's, that's, right. Right. that's right. right. It was the centrepiece on the table. Yeah, yours it? stayed here and rotted. <laughs> it did. How popular they were. Well, have a look at this photograph that Anne-Marie has sent in. It's come off somewhere. Instagram saw this. They poked holes in the pumpkin filled them with peanut butter and then let the squirrel do the rest. That's brilliant. Oh, so squirrels gnawed away at it. I'm not, not sure we can find a squirrel, but surely we can find a small animal that wants to eat peanut butter. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you couldn't sure. give it to a primary school though, Wolf. Oh, no, exactly. No. I have started workshopping ideas for this year. Okay, now Chappelle Corby has sent oh, okay. in a... A message to you, Joel Creasy, and a package to you. Yeah, well, some backstory to this. Okay. Um, Because we have a lot of time on our hands in the Melbourne office because it's just my mind and Gemma and I in here. And and people have sort of given up coming even into the office, it seems. So, we, you know, we... we, um, Because you're moving in a month, so everyone down there goes, oh, let's just stop going in. We'll stop going in. What's the point? (laughs) Yeah, because we're moving in four weeks. There's no point going in. Yeah, we'll see you in 2023. And COVID's kind of still going, but we're all managing it. But let's still stay at home. Yeah, no, I've never met anyone in this building. Um, well, you, the only place you've met everyone from that building is at your house. I know, and they always come to mine after the bloody Christmas party. Um, so we, we, we took we took a shining to Chappelle Corby's Instagram, and in particular we noticed the other day that Ch- Chappelle has been making and selling her own clocks. 
And so we thought we need to buy one. <laughs> and it's arrived. Oh, you actually bought one. Now, can I, I've got some video. Do you want to hear Chappelle? While you open it, I've got some, okay. some of Chappelle describing the clock oh. and talking to us. Hey, Gemma, yes. here's a video of clocks that you like with the, the base shell with lots of shells. It's got nice wave details here. The hands are reversible to white. Um, all the small shells are collected by myself. I'm running so behind time today. I was so busy. A nice glass-like finish. Beautiful colour. Epoxy is UV protected, so it will not discolour over time. Uh, the quartz clock mechanism comes with a 10-year warranty. So it's a safe purchase for you. 28 centimetres and 2 centimetres thick. How much was it? If, I, I don't know how much it was, but she sent a gorgeous. She saw, sent a gorgeous note. No, Chappelle's epoxy art, and here's the clock itself. Here, she signed the back. Oh, now, did you do it? Because I suggested a little um, thing that she could write on the back. She has signed it. Um, with yeah, I think we probably yeah. Don't that, mention a, it. A person, yeah, I don't know. Because she's also written another message that I'll tell you um, off air. Nothing obviously bad. It's actually. Okay, very I can sweet. say what I suggested though. You know, okay, you can say what you suggested. I, su- I suggested enjoy doing time. Oh, Chappelle. Yeah, because it's a clock. And on the back, it actually also she's written clock number 621. So she's been she's busy glazing bank. these clocks. Oh, that's great. Why clocks? Mm-hmm, I don't know. Can Not she make sure. one for our office as well? Because our clock, uh, um, what about uh-huh. for our clock? It's really nice, Chappelle. Oh, yeah. can, like, let's get another one. I don't like the shells, though. Can we do it? Is there another? That's one? kind of her vibe, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's you know, her signature a, move, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, she's a goldie girl. She's a, 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 No, I understand the, the seascape, but I'm like, is there a variety? Variety without shells. Well, what would you like? Well, I just like I'd like to see a variety without shells. That's all. Well, what I'm about asking. a starfish? Oh no, thanks. Oh mm. gosh, yuck. No, I mean oh, like God. a sea starfish. Oh, oh, I what thought you, you meant. Of... No, no, you didn't. Did you? <laughs> oh, you duffer. I thought a chalky, I... big chalky starfish. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Would you go for Thanks, white, Chappelle. White Thanks for my clock. Hair. I'll get a brown one. Um, <laughs> all right. Kate, Tim, and Joel, Nova. Nans. They. Nans that swear. I swear. Yeah, like that. Mm, 13, name. 24, 10. Potty mouth Nans. Do you have one? Are you one? 13, 24, 10. I swear. I don't know why it surprises you when you hear an old person swear because they were one. They were one wonks. Uh, <laughs> they, they were young. Once upon a time. Yes. Yeah, and they're either real... But old people are either one or the other. Real cranks or yeah. real sweethearts. Yeah. Oh, no. There's not many yeah. grey area... I know, I agree. And I do tend to think that, that even when even when they were really nice when they were younger, I think people tend to get maybe crankier as they get older. Oh, for sure. You get more burnt by life. Oh. Yeah. So it's a bit, a bit about that. Or it really happier, starts like, to tick you off. Or you're like, okay, I've, I've, I've done pretty well in this... Yeah. In this game. Yeah, and I'm not going to be here forever, so I'm going to make the most of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to dye my hair. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to make, make it on purple. a track suit and we'll go jazzy walking, glasses. <laughs> walking around the river with me lady. Live the way I like. Mm-hmm. Um, this grandmother, she's hilarious. She's accidentally gone live on Facebook Live. It could be me, really. I know. Um, she's Because it's kind of a, it's a close-up. You can see her peering <laughs> into the phone like she's just trying to work it out. She's she's accidentally gone live. Her granddaughter, Millie, a screen recorded the accidental live stream and then Nan, then Nan can be heard swearing at herself. Brilliant. So have a listen to this. Sit up again, you stupid. This is her pressing the phone. Put a filter on now by mistake. She's now getting really angry, like because like, if you press the phone harder, it must oh, make it work. Oh, that's what my grandma yeah. would do. I love it how she calls herself a cow in the third person. Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> cow. Just start again. <laughs> Sit up again, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually hilarious. <laughs> cow. Why did we believe cow? Oh, I thought it was something else. Yeah, I think it made it sound like something else, but it wasn't at all. It's it is cow. Can you not say cow? Sit up again, you stupid. I was laughing the other day about what a funny insult a cow is. Oh, he's such a cow. Oh, it's such a funny yeah, insult. Yeah, yeah. Depending on what country you say that in, that could be a compliment. 
Because cows are sacred course, in some they're countries. they're worshipped. Oh. And the beautiful oh. eyes. Bloody, bloody goat. Good twist. Yeah, they do mm. some of those big Jersey cows with oh. the big beautiful eyelashes. Oh, gorgeous oh, yeah, Delicious eyes. with a bit of horseradish cream. <laughs> I'm so Say hungry. <laughs> Your hot English mustard. Between a bit of bread. That time I ordered hot English mustard at that steak restaurant, they go, oh, sure, I'll just let Italy know. I'd love to go back to that restaurant. I know, we should. Town. We should. I've got, I've got the matri bee. You've got to come with. Matri bee. Are they more blue. important than the D? <laughs> yeah, 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 the matri <laughs> I got uh, the matri A. Oh, sounds uh, well. Yeah, I know. Samantha, your nan's got a potty mouth. Yes, hello. I do have a mum, a nana, who has a potty mouth. When yeah. she gets a little bit, um, you know, on the drink, she yeah. likes to say the F word and the C word occasionally. Oh, wow. The C oh, word? You can't pull that word out. Do you mean cow or not the other word? <laughs> yes, I mean, see you next Tuesday, sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart. Oh, no. What's her poison? <laughs> oh, scotch. Oh, ooh. okay, hard On the rocks or? Yeah, scotch on the rocks with a bit of soda. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I feel like that in a steak now. I know. Is, is, she, is, is she a good woman most of the time, though? <laughs> oh, she's brilliant. She's my angel, my mother. I love her to bits. And look, when, we, when the nephews are here, she doesn't say a word. But occasionally yeah. the F-bomb might drop. Oh, yeah. You can't help it sometimes. No. And so then we say bucket. Oh, bucket. Okay, careful. Now <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're making yeah, me yeah, really yeah, nervous. No, you are making me Kate, Tim and Joel on Nova. <laughs> Sam Smith and Kim Petras, that's unholy. I like it. Yeah, I, I like it. that, Sam. It's like that big, it's like stomp, like garage, you don't you reckon? Oh, I remember stomp. Oh, yes, so with, with the, with the, with the yeah, bins bonk. and all of that. Any, any, anything's an instrument, guys. <laughs> Make some noise and get involved. Yeah, I know. What? And people went on their hens nights. I'm like, oh my God, was Stop. every bar closed? <laughs> Bring it back, I say. Well, you're living in a dry town. <laughs> what are you going there with, with your hens? <laughs> oh, stomp, they're hot. <laughs> I'm dressed as bin men sometimes. And just, yeah, just making noises. <laughs> Imagine I'm being married to someone from Stomp and then practicing. Going, are you, are you up unpacking the dishwasher? No, no, I'm practicing for Stomp. No, I'm stomping, babe. We open tonight. <laughs> oh, did you crash the car through the garage door? No, no, practicing one of our tunes for Stomp. Yeah, I wanted to hear what noise it makes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very creative. Aren't they Foley artists? Oh, yes, mm. they are. Oh, are they? Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah, Who I got that in the, the crossword other... the other day. I was like, hey. It's here's... always in the crosswords, that Foley one. Foley artists, it is. Yeah, I know. Why? Well, because, I mean, it's hard to make a crossword. Have you done it? Is that in your new book? How to make a crossword? <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. Well, sometimes now I'm, I do the crossword every day. When I see who the author of the crossword is, I go, this one. Oh, really? You're walking the park. Not one of theirs. Oh, you're a regular. Yeah. It's kind of like wow. cheating, though, isn't it? What do you mean? I mean, the more crosswords you do, you just know. They're all the same. Oh, well, no, no, they're not all the same. No, not all the same. That's rude. That's moving. really rude. It yeah, just okay. Gets your brain moving yeah. in a different way. Yeah, yeah. It's off your good. screen, you know, out yeah. of your Instagram world, in That's, your own head. People do that s- Sudoku or something. I was going to say, do they still have the Sudoku in the? Oh, of course paper? they do. It's an ancient um, Never done number it. game. Maybe <laughs> I'll come out in 2015. I sorry. Is it in the big jumbo puzzler? I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> what about adults that oh, do find the, the words? They grow they up. do what? Adults that do find the words. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I was going to see that on the plane. Man, oh, find the words are ridiculous. Boy, you're looking at a roller coaster, are you? <laughs> find the words are the words of all the <laughs> I, I, word games. I make them for the kids, but like, if you're an adult on a plane, why don't you watch a movie? You can have a glass of wine. Stop hiding words in letters. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, and what about hide the final words and go backwards and forwards and diagonally and Oh, you can't, I can't do it backwards, I know. can you? Yeah, you can. And no yeah, matter the find a word, all I ever see is cat. Oh, yeah. And people who circle the letters as opposed to circle the word grow up as well. <laughs> I you would do. circle the letters, I think. Individually. Well, they're kind of fun. It makes it, the whole thing look pretty. But it and makes you have longer. no confidence. <laughs> people, who, people who circle the letters have no confidence. Whereas if you go... Oh, here we go. Oh, it's true. <laughs> Just go head first into the final word. Yeah, if you cross it out, that's real ballsy. That's yeah, really ballsy. Well, you need to know, you need to see the letters. Yeah. Because what if it's across, like another word crosses over it and you need to you need to see that letter for another word. But you do this, cross, like, like that, circle it like that. Yeah, no, I know that bit, but I don't, I'm talking about Joel's mm. technique. Oh, Joel crossing. doesn't have a technique for finding the words. He's making it up. He never would have done I've a I've never done a finder yes, word since a grade six. I haven't lived. Now, you know, I'm Despacito for an old love power. So taco. Oh, I so am. am I. They're my favourite sort of taco. Hard or soft? 
It's hard. We're getting all our stars. Yeah, why not have both, mate? I like a bit of both, actually. Do you? You're versatile. <laughs> Chad, yes, I do. Grab an old El Paso hard and a soft taco kid from the Mexican Isle today. Mexican Isle. Mm. If you don't mind. Wow. Is there a Mexican Isle? Well, so much. Maybe not a whole Mexican like aisle, but the, it'd be an international aisle with the Mexican yeah, right. part of that right, okay. aisle. So, yeah, Unless okay. you're in Mexico, maybe. Oh, then it's just the aisle. It's just the supermarket. Just the supermarket, ah, yeah. Maybe then. there's an Australian aisle. Hey, that's not Drink. a knife. And they probably stock old El Paso there. Well, of course they would. Yeah. Um, now, Natalie, we're doing this. This is great. You can choose to go soft, hard, or both today. Basically, soft is an easy trivia question for 500 bucks. Hard is a harder trivia question for 1,000. But both, you answer both correct, you get two grand. Hello? Oh, hello, Natalie. You're in a bit of a delay, are you? <laughs> so, do I yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, what are you thinking? How are you? Yeah, she has been waiting for a while. She probably got bored. She's been doing a finder work. Have you ever been to the Mexican <laughs> Isle before? I was thinking which way I would do it, and I'd search for the whole work. Yeah, I would do, I'd do that too. Yeah, oh. that's what normal people do. And you're not putting lines for anything. <laughs> no. Um, Natalie, have you ever been to the Mexican Isle? I have. Mm. Not the, no, 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 just the section. Yeah, it's a good place to be. Like yeah, that's there. what I think. I don't think it's in a whole aisle. <laughs> It's, it's in near the Indian. It's near the Indian, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah it's just along the real well. <laughs> And the Hershey's too. <laughs> <laughs> why, tra- why travel? Why travel when you can go to the supermarket? And you can go to that one aisle that's got everything. <laughs> <Internet>. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you doing? A hard, soft, or a bowl? I'm going to give it both a shot. Oh, that's hell. hot. I'm going to go. Yeah, good. All right. You that's should. spicy. We'll give it a shot, hey? Yeah, for $2,000. Yeah, I think this is a good one. Okay, so let's start soft. Do you want to give it the soft question, Kate Ritchie? Okay, I'll start with the soft. Here we go. Are you ready, uh, Natalie? Um, yeah, I'm which, ready. which country are tacos thought to have originated from? Spain. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks for playing that. No. <laughs> no, not after all that. Natalie. Natalie, it was the most obvious <laughs> answer. I was googling it before I left work, and I've gone surely you'll ask me where it came from. Uh, oh, maybe we're wrong. Good question. <laughs> wow. Are we wrong. Hang on. We really? can't be wrong. We're never oh. wrong. I, look, I don't believe we're wrong here because why would we send you to the Mexican Isle when you could go to the Spanish Isle? <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the paella section. Tacos are thought to have come from Mexico long before the Spanish arrived. So yeah. Mexico is the answer. Oh, Natalie. Um, it oh, is no. the first no. date. It's the first date. If you get the hard question right, we'll at least give you we'll give you something. Oh, God, I failed the soft one. <laughs> that's what oh, I'm saying. That's what that, I'm saying. You know, don't take it, you know, a hit to uh, your confidence, Natalie. <laughs> okay. Right. This has already gone long enough, shot. Natalie. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it a shot. Just let me do it, okay? I'm gone. All right. Put your phone down as well. Okay. What was old El Paso's first ever product? A hot sauce or a fajita kit? <laughs> Can I have a hint? And don't say tapas. <laughs> and don't say don't say fajita. No, because you got your hint. Is I gave you two options. It's 50 yes. 50. That's well, your hint. Is it hot sauce? Yes! Yes! We'll give you 500 bucks. And no, we'll, we'll, give, no, we'll give you $1,000 and an old El Paso prize pack as well. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, that taco, Very way too long. <laughs> Kate Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.